What's up guys, today I'll be reviewing the Wellfire SR-22 Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. The first thing you notice about this gun is the tan polymer body. That's just the color I got it in. It does come in two other colors, dark green or black. This gun has a metal barrel with your orange tip on the end and a metal upper. Starting with the back, this gun has an uh, adjustable stock with a rubber back which feels very comfortable. Uh, to adjust it, you would turn this metal wheel and it would make it go back or forwards. This gun has an adjustable cheek rest. You take an Allen wrench and unscrew this and pull it up or down, whichever is more comfortable for your cheek. Uh, this gun has a very comfortable grip. Um, I find it to be a little bit too big, that's just my opinion, but it doesn't really matter when you're shooting. The trigger feels very firm when you're pulling it back and it is very comfortable. It also has a trigger safety on it so that's nice. There are sling attachments on the right and the left side of this gun. Um, two in the front and two in the back. The safety is located on the right side of the gun and when it's on safety you can't pull back the trigger but when it's off safety you'll be able to see the red dot and you'll be able to fire. So this gun has a metal bolt, which is also nice. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys was the scope I added. This is a 3 to 9 by 40 illuminated rifle scope. Uh, this, this was not included with the gun. I bought this separately for about 50 bucks on Airsoft Megastore. It comes with these lens caps, which some people use in the field to protect the lenses from BBs. Um, I don't really use them because I find them to be a little bit annoying when you're trying to aim and stuff. But other than that, this, this scope is amazing. It is super accurate. So let's move on. Okay, so the gun comes in a box just like this. And it will include all the parts and tools you will need to assemble the gun. The gun itself comes in two pieces, the upper and the lower. To assemble them, there are two holes. One is behind, right behind the magazine, and the other one is on the trigger guard. The screws are already inserted in there for you when you get the gun, so all you need to do is take your Allen key, which is included in the box, and screw them until they're secure. And that's all you need to do to assemble the gun, so it's pretty easy. The box also comes with this sling, which you can attach to your gun, so that's pretty cool. And this speed loader that comes with this cool little attachment to load your magazine. To take the magazine out, you just press down on this lever, and it should pop right out. So to load it, you just press this down, to take your speed loader, and hold the attachment up to it and just start loading it. So, to put the magazine back in, you just find the slot and then just push it back in. This gun has a claimed FPS of about 510. I found that it shoots pretty close to that around the 500 range if you're using 0.30 gram BBs. This gun weighs about 10 pounds with the scope. So without the scope, it'd weigh about 9 pounds. So it's got some pretty good weight to it. It feels great in my hands. It feels very comfortable. And it looks awesome. So that pretty much sums up my review. So let's go shoot this thing.
sky gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light Thanks for watching YouTube, and if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, live, laugh, and shoot stuff.